This is the Louis T. Network. In the lab room. Welcome, you are in the lab room. I'm your host, Lou. Thank you for joining me. Here to break down the week four matchup between the Buffalo Bills, who were hosting the Super Bowl champion Baltimore Ravens. Look, I've talked about this Ravens team ad nauseum and how I don't like what I see from this team offensively. Look, this defense is coming along, and you expected the defense to probably be a little bit ahead of this offense that made a lot of changes in the offseason. You lose a guy like Anquan Bolden. You lose a guy like center Matt Burke. You lose a couple of pieces along this offensive group. You lose some pieces on the defensive side, but the defense wasn't all that great last season. The, offensively, this team was much better than it is this year. And so I talked about how I didn't think the Ravens offensively did enough to win week in and week out in this league. You look at this game against the Buffalo Bills, on the road, the Bills are a different team. And I, and I talked about this last week in that loss to the Jets. Was not impressed with E.J. Manuel on the road. I wasn't impressed with E.J. Manuel in this football game. And I said that I think what you saw from him last week was what you were going to get from him more consistently on a week-in, week-out basis. A guy that's going to be erratic. He's going to make some good throws, but he's also going to make some questionable ones. He's going to make some questionable decisions. He's going to turn the football over. He's a rookie. You're expecting him to make mistakes. Early on in the season, he wasn't making mistakes. He was making good throws. He was making good decisions. But overall, you expected him to come back to earth. He has done so. But when I saw this game and I looked at the way it unfolded, this Baltimore Ravens team is not that good and it's tough to say that because they're the Super Bowl defending champions they still got Joe Flacco they still got Ray Rice they still got Terrell Suggs they've still got a core of guys Haloti Nada they've got a core group of guys that can get it done but when you look at the way this team is constructed they're not good enough on the offensive side of the football to win on a consistent basis and you saw more of it this game this game started off rough for the Ravens. They had three penalties on the opening possession. You can't have penalties on the road, especially when you're already finding it tough as it is to score points. If you're the Ravens, you got to be more disciplined. And they had penalties in this game. But the story of the day for the Ravens, turnovers. And more specifically, Joe Flacco turnovers. Five interceptions on this day. You can't win in this league turning the football over. I say it all the time. And in this game, Joe Flacco was all over the place. Some interceptions, you could say, hey, maybe that's not all Joe's fault. But for the most part, you ask yourself time and time again, what was he looking at? What was he trying to accomplish on this play when he turned the football over? And he had a plethora of them. And of course, one of these interceptions is going to lead to the momentous moment of the game, but give the Baltimore Ravens credit. They hung in this game. The Bills had opportunities to put this Ravens team away. What at one point the Bills were leading this game 20 to 6. They had opportunities to put this football game away. EJ Manuel turned the football over. He threw some interceptions in this game. He fumbled the football in this game. So they made mistakes, did the Buffalo Bills. They did everything in their power to give this football game away. Look, I love Robert Woods. Let me say that before I move on and forget to give this man his just due. Robert Woods is the perfect receiver for this Bills football team right now. You're looking for a guy to be a playmaker across from Stevie Johnson. You've been searching for that second option at the receiver position. You have found your man in Robert Woods. This guy is a baller, and he was balling in this game. Got open, scored a huge touchdown on a beautiful throw from E.J. Manuel. And look, like I said, the Bills had opportunities to run away with this one and hide. And they did not take those opportunities and run with them. Robert Woods had an opportunity to catch a ball in the corner of the end zone. Good, I'll give Jimmy Smith some credit on this play. Good defensive play to, to jar the ball. Not loose, 
but to knock it from the, the possession of Robert Woods. He had it. Jimmy Smith comes down and, and moves the ball slightly in his hand. He doesn't get both feet down while maintaining possession in the back of the end zone. And so the Bills had to settle for a field goal. And that extended their lead from 14 to 20 to 23 to 14. And that nine-point cushion seemed like it was going to be enough because this Ravens team wasn't doing enough offensively. But they go down and they get points. And, and they had to keep settling for field goals. And that was a, another issue. Settling for field goals when you have opportunities to score a touchdown. The Ravens did that too many times in this game, settling for field goals when they had opportunities to score touchdowns. Marlon Brown is a guy that they have to use more. He had a huge touchdown catch early in this football game. He's a big target at 6'5". There were times when the Ravens got in the red zone and I thought they made a great point. Why are you throwing the football to Ray Rice at 5'8 in double coverage when you've got a 6'5 target like Marlon Brown, utilize him. And I think the Ravens aren't doing a good enough job of getting this guy the football, especially when they get in the red zone. Either way, what it all boils down to is this momentous moment of the game. And, and it happened in the fourth quarter, last possession for the Ravens. They've got a shot. With all the turnovers, with all the issues they've had in this game, the Bills could not put them away. The Bills are not a good enough team to put you away. You have an opportunity on the road to hurt the heads of the Buffalo Bills. They let you hang around in this game. Even though you've played sloppy football, you have an opportunity to take this one from the Bills at the last moment. Ravens have the football. They're driving down the field. Joe Flacco throws a football, tips off of the hands of his intended receiver, it's picked off by Kiko Alonso. Kiko Alonso is the man in Buffalo right now at that linebacker position. I've talked about Kiko Alonso several times early in this young season, and I've talked about him because this guy is getting it done. I, I say it all the time. Kiko Alonso is everywhere, and Kiko Alonso was everywhere in this game. Two interceptions. If I'm not mistaken, that's four on the season. If not four, it's definitely three. I'm going to say that that's his fourth interception of the season. This guy is getting to the quarterback. He's around ball carriers. He's picking off passes. Kiko Alonso is everywhere. And he was where the Bills needed him to be to finish off this ball game as he makes a tremendous interception, scooping the ball up off the turf to preserve the victory for the Buffalo Bills in this football game. 23-20. to 20. Bills get it done. I don't know how they get it done. <laughs> Even with all the turnovers, they had opportunities to put this game away. The Ravens had opportunities to steal this game away. This was a wacky football game. But when it's all said and done, the Baltimore Ravens aren't able to complete the comeback. They fall 23-20. to 20. Great win for the Buffalo Bills. They get back to 500 on the season. Do the Bills at two and two? Meanwhile, the Ravens drop to two and two on the season. Golden opportunity for the Ravens, even though they didn't play well, to steal one on the road. Couldn't get it done. They dropped to two and two on the season, and so tough loss for the Ravens. Another bad offensive performance. Another lackluster performance by Joe Flacco. All of the blame does not fall on him because there's not a lot in the cupboard offensively for this Ravens football team. They did not run the football in the second half. Two, all of two count them. One, two carries for Ray Rice. And, and this has been a trend in Baltimore for the last four seasons. When Ray Rice doesn't touch the football, this football team loses. No ifs, ands, buts about it. Ray Rice doesn't get his adequate amount of touches. This football team loses and I don't know why the Ravens don't realize that but again they don't get him the football they lose this football game and so tough loss for the Ravens big win for the Buffalo Bills this Bills team is a scrappy team they scrapped they scratched they clawed they got it done you got to watch out for this team at home on the road they're a different football team at home they find ways to hang in ball games and give themselves a chance they did that here and they come away with the victory Bills 2-2 two two in the season Ravens 
two and two on the season as well. That's going to do it for me here. Remember, if it happens in the National Football League, whether big or small, we cover it all here in the lab room. See you next time. Thanks for joining me. Like the content? Want more? Sub up. In the lab room.